Okay, good morning, everybody. And what are we going to talk about today on Coffee and Questions? Well, we're going to talk about using Filmora. And we're going to talk just about the basics. And this is like part one of a series of videos I'm going to do in collaboration with a friend of mine who I met, Khan. He's kind of a guru when it comes to a lot of these technical things, you know, dealing with these programs. So, like I said, this is part one. I like Filmora. Uh, I think we all have tried Windows, you know, Movie Maker and the basics of it. Everybody's bumped up from then. It's not supported anymore anyway, although it's still available. Yes, I still use it, but this is a great program. Uh, it just takes a little bit of tweaking and getting used to. And together with Khan, we went through the basics in this part one series. And you can determine, you know, whether or not you like it. And you can go to their uh, website, which is on Wondershare. We'll give it to you somewhere here along the line in the tutorial. You can download a free trial version. And then if you want to, you can subscribe. And I think it's $60 one time. And you can download it and have it forever, including the updates. Um, I want to apologize. I did do a video. And somebody made the comment, hey, you know, you're showing people how to, you know, crack the code. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, okay. And I apologize. It was an error on my part. I wasn't thinking about it um, in one way because I thought, well, you know, I'm showing you how to do something kind of trick and slick and it gets rid of all of the adware advertisements and everything else. But then on the other hand, yeah, I'm teaching you how to pirate software. So after I did the video, put it up thinking about it, I went ahead and took it down because it's not really what my channel's about and I shouldn't be teaching you that stuff. So again, I apologize for that. We will do the series on Filmora. I'll assume that if you like it, you download it and you'll follow along. So drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of, you know, Khan's interaction with you and how he's doing in terms of showing you, you know, how to do things. Let me know if you like the video and if you're going to use Filmora. And if, you know, if I get enough feedback, I'll make the entire series. And we'll take it one section at a time. First one's an overview on the basics. So I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to turn it over to Khan now, and let's just get right after this and get started. Thank you, folks, and I'll see you soon. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Home Handyman YouTube channel. And in our previous lecture, we have talked about how we can install Filmora 9 version on our computer and how we can crack it. But today we are going to be talking about how you can use Filmora, the Filmora's basic uh, transitions, text effects, uh, elements and all other important and exporting features. Today I will discuss about them. So let's start it. First of all, open Filmora on your computer. You can see here that Filmora has been opening on my PC and within few seconds it will be open. Now after opening, click on new project. You can see here I'm clicking on new project. And after you click on new project, you can see here there is a timeline and there is a layout. You can see here there are a lot of features like audio, text, titles, transitions, effects, elements and then each feature contains a lot of categories and then a lot of categories contains a lot of different effects. So this is why I like Filmora and this is why I recommend you Filmora to do the video editing. So first of all we are talking about how to import the files. Simply click on import media files and then after clicking on import media files select the file that you want to edit like I have selected this video after selecting simply clicking don't show this message again and type yes then simply drag that video on the timeline like this you can see here you have successfully dragged the video on the timeline now you are able to edit it as much as you can simply click on match to media and now we have to increase the height of this like uh, video so for this simply click on that manage track option then go to adjust track height and now click on big now you can see here that the track size is so big now you are able to easily track the files you are able to easily cut the bad parts from the video to add another parts in it etc because now it is it looks great and it is easy to edit all the stuff so first of all i'm going to talk about how you can add transitions 
So first of all, to add transition, you need two videos, video A and video B. To, for this, we have to split the video or you can see we have to cut the video. Here you can see that the video has been cutted. Now we, if you want, we can add a transition in it. Or if we want, we can uh, like cut some bad parts from it. For example, I don't like this part. So I easily can cut it simply click left click on the mouse and then delete this part. Now how to add transition? It is very simple. Simply uh, merge these two clips. Then go to transition section. You can see at the top. Let me show you. Go to transition section. And here you can see there are a lot of transitions available like basic, 3D, ripple and dissolve, speed blur. So I like speedy transitions. So I will use this transition. Simply drag it on your media, drag it on your files like this. Now if we play the video, let me play the video. You will see a huge change in the video with a great transition. You can see here. And yep, this is a cool transition guys. This is an amazing transition I have ever seen. That's why I love Filmora. I love making videos with Filmora. Now we have to like uh, cut another part and here I will show you how to add titles. This software contains a lot of titles, a lot of title animations that you can use in your video. For example, I like this effect. So I will simply drag it here and if I play the video, you can see here that the background is black double click on the text and then simply edit the text like this remove the previous text and type the text you want to show in your video it's simple very simple and then simply click on ok you can change the font and the color and the text size here now if i play the video you you can see that the background is black now simply all we have to do is simple drag this text on the top of the media like this and then merge the media now if we play the video again you can see that the text is appearing on the video this is the second part first we have learned about how to add transition how to split the video how to do basic cuts and now we have learned how to add text effect and now it's time to uh, it's time to add some elements in the video you can see here that this uh, like filmora software contains a lot of uh, effects like you can see here there are a lot of uh, color grading effects uh, frames uh, utility common material distortion sepia tone lomography Th these all are color grading presets now see it is very simple to use these presets simply drag the preset on your clip and yep it is applied this is how you can change the color of any video all the presets are very premium and if you want to use your own preset I will show you each and everything in my coming videos. Here this software contains a lot of pre-made presets of color grading. So you can color grade your video, you can correct the colors of your video very easily. Now it's time to add some elements. Here you can see that there are a lot of elements available in the software with a lot of categories and then each category contains a lot of elements. Like I like this element so if I want I simply can drag it like this on the top of the media now i play the video you will see a huge change yep you can see there is an amazing effect there is an amazing effect has been shown on this video so this is how you can use elements there are a lot of elements available in this software so don't be worried there are many you can use any you want now we have completed doing text transition effects and then doing elements we have uh, completely done everything now it's time to mess with the audio like if you want to edit the audio then simply left click on it then go to adjust audio and here you can see that there are a lot of options like fade in fade out pitch equalizer and from here you can increase or decrease the volume like if I want to increase the volume I'll I will do it up and if I want to decrease the volume I will less it and here if i want to fade out or fade in i can mess with these settings and in the equalizer this software contains a lot of pre-made clips a lot of pre-made presets you can see here there are classic dance low bass sparkle pop 
simply select the preset and click on ok yep you have applied now we have learned about five things like title animations transitions effects elements cutting the videos and importing the files now it's time to add some music in the video like if you want to add a background music then you will see a lot of music stuff already added in the software but if you want to use your own music from your mobile or from your computer simply go to media then click on import then click on import media files and from here select the music like this is my music and I have selected it yep now simply drag it you can see here that the music is added now if you want to change the speed, change the equalization, change the pitch, change the music volume, you can simply add that audio. So this is how you can use the feature. Today we have discussed about 6 or 7 features like adding audio, adding title animations, adding transitions, adding effects, adding elements, messing with the audios, doing basic cuts, splitting the videos and now it's time to export the video. It is very easy to export the video but before exporting simply let me tell you something about this software this is an amazing software that contains a lot of pre baited features that you can use for your videos you don't need to download anything from the internet because each and everything is available already in this software so you can see here so to export the video simply click on export and then clicking on export simply click on export to device now clicking on export to device here you will see different devices like DVD, Vimeo, YouTube, device and local. Simply click on local option. Don't click on any other option. Click on local option and select MP4 format. And after selecting MP4 format, here you can see the resolution is 1920 by 1080. It means it is full HD video. Now if you want to change the destination folder, simply click on it then as i have selected desktop select folder and simply click on export so this is how you can export the videos it is very easy it is quite simple i hope you will like this tutorial and if you like then please comment on this video like this video and if you like the method of my teaching let me know in the comments thank you so much guys and i will see you in the next video peace out